Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Let's make a spell candle themed to the zodiac sign of Libra. Ruled by the planet Venus, Libra are known for diplomacy and balance, often able to see both sides of an issue and skilled at finding compromises. Let's do some magical crafting. This video is part of a series where I create 12 different zodiac sign spell candles and talk about the magical properties of the ingredients in each one. Candles are used in all kinds of magic and ritual. Witchcraft, conjure, ceremonial magic, root work, and folk practices. Craft your candles to align with your magical goals by adding oils, herbs, gemstones, colors, or symbols. Most importantly, as you create your candle, infuse it with your intentions. If your traditions call for it, you may wish to bless your candle, chant or speak words while creating it, invoke a deity, or pray over it. I begin by weighing out my soy wax flakes and melting it over a very low heat. I've created a Book of Shadows page for this spell candle recipe. It explains the magical correspondences of the color, the herbs, and the crystals in this candle. If you'd like to download a PDF of this grimoire page, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, Book of Shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs. Melt your wax slowly over a low heat and do not boil or burn your wax. If you see any smoke, your wax is burning. Turn the heat down. As the wax begins to melt, this is the perfect time to add your energy and intention as you stir the liquid. When making your candle, incorporate the ingredients you have on hand. You do not have to include all of the ingredients I show in this video. As always, my tutorials should only be a starting point for you to develop your own craft. Once the wax is completely melted, it's time to add the ingredients into the liquid. Make sure to turn the heat off before adding anything to the wax. I will be adding four herbs into my wax. I chose these ingredients because they're magically correspondent to the zodiac sign of Libra. The first ingredient is bee balm, used in spells to promote courage and to bring confidence and eloquence when speaking. It's also used for protection and warding for your home and magical workings for weight loss. The next ingredient is mint. Mint promotes energy, communication, and vitality. Use dried leaves to stuff a poppet for healing or place it in a wallet or purse to bring wealth and prosperity. Use it on the altar to draw good spirits to assist in your magic and place it in the home for protection. The next ingredient is elderflower. Elder embodies fertility, rejuvenation, and the profound mysteries of magic and healing. In European folklore, the elder tree is inhabited by a spirit and cutting one down without permission brings bad luck or harm. Elder wards off evil spirits and protects the home. The next ingredient is chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemums are symbols of love and joy, and they enhance the energy of love and happiness in a relationship. Chrysanthemums are aligned with balance and harmony. Include them in rituals or on altars to promote a sense of peace and unity, whether in personal relationships or within a community. Some other options for herbs and flowers that correspond to Libra are thyme, spearmint, and St. John's wort. You may wish to add an essential oil or a perfume oil to scent your candle. This is optional. You may wish to leave your candles unscented for many reasons, including potential allergies. I'm using honeysuckle essential oil. This will bring the magical qualities of the flower into the candle and into my home. 
The sweet scent of honeysuckle flowers is often associated with joy and positive memories. It can be used to uplift spirits, banish negativity, and promote a sense of happiness and well-being. Honeysuckle is strongly associated with love and attraction magic. Honeysuckle's vibrant and lush growth makes it a symbol of abundance and prosperity, and it's thought to enhance psychic abilities and intuition. Once you've included all the ingredients you want inside the candle, it's time to add a color. I'm using a color that corresponds to the sign. For Libra, I'm using blue. Other colors that correspond to Libra are black, violet, emerald, and lavender. In color magic, blue is a color that's often associated with calm, tranquility, and healing. It's the color of the vast sky and the deep ocean, which gives it a sense of boundless possibilities and mystery. In magic, blue is linked to the throat chakra, communication, wisdom, and psychic abilities. It's also connected to the element of water, making it ideal for rituals involving emotions and intuition. Make sure to add enough dye to the wax to make the liquid appear darker than the final color you want. The wax will lighten as it cools, which will lighten the colorant you've added. Next, it's time to pour the wax into the container. Make sure that you use a fire-safe container Never use plastic or anything flammable. I've chosen a jar that has a wide opening so that I can add glitter and gemstones to the top of the candle. It's easy to fill and not likely to tip over when lit for fire safety. I'm putting a small piece of double-sided tape on the bottom of my candle wick to stick it to the jar. I'm using two chopsticks, one on each side of the wick and a binder clip to ensure that the wick stays centered in the jar and to create a straight up and down wick that will not droop. You can also tie the wick to a chopstick or skewer or use a clothespin to hold the wick, whatever you have at home that works with your container. Then slowly and carefully pour the wax in and scoop in any of the ingredients that have settled to the bottom. Leave your candle to cool and for the wax to firm up. The wax in my five ounce candle becomes somewhat firm in about one hour. The amount of time will vary depending on the size of your candle. Once the wax is cooled, you can add ingredients to the top of the candle. I like to use a heat tool to melt a little bit of the surface wax to adhere glitter and gemstones to the top. I love to add glitter to all of my crafts. I'm sprinkling some blue glitter on the top of this candle. I'm also adding Lapis Lazuli Gemstones. Lapis Lazuli is a stone of deep inner knowledge and spiritual insight. It's known to enhance intellectual abilities, stimulate wisdom, and promote psychic development. It's also revered for its ability to enhance communication, both in interpersonal relationships and spiritual pursuits. Lapis Lazuli is believed to bring clarity to the mind and aid in emotional healing, making it a powerful tool for inner transformation and self-discovery. A candle created magically in your sacred space and with great intention can bring extra power and purpose to your magic. There are many ways to use your spell candle. Specifically, I will use mine on the new moon in Libra. If your sun sign is Libra, burn this candle to invoke the natural gifts you possess. Light this candle on your birthday to amplify the best qualities of your sun sign. This candle can be used by anyone to amplify all magical work done during the Libra season or to embrace Libra energy. In particular, it would be useful in magical workings relating to partnership, marriage, friendship, and business relationships. Focus energy towards visualizing your goal happening as you light your candle and as it burns. When the candle has completely burned through, 
You may wish to remove the gemstones which are now supercharged with the energy of your intention. Keep them and use them in further magical workings or give them back to the earth. 